It's beer o'clock on Real Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Siren Craft Brew. And it's the Calypso Dry Hop Balina Vice. It's coming in at 4% ABV. Looking forward to this one for the flavour. Uh, Balina Vice is a German style beer. It's a beer that's been infected. Um, it's a natural fermentation process. Uh, the beer is then aged over time so that the, the horrible kind of infected flavours die away and then the nice flavours come through and well you can enjoy the beer although that's what i've been told when i was in belgium just a few months ago there's the bottle cap if you if you know anything else about balina vice if you if you know um the maybe some other kind of reason why it's called a balina vice then please let me know. But that's my understanding of a Bolina Vice. There's that lovely smoke on the opening. Beer in the glass then. And, and I love that about a Bolina Vice. The lovely, lovely carbonation that happens there. Very kind of fizzy, highly strung beer a Balina Vice. They always are, they always are. Slightly hazy as you would expect from Balina Vice. Uh, it's a very small one finger head. Nice levels of rolling carbonation. Let's get the aroma. Dry hopped, what has it been dry hopped with? I love this style of beer, I really do. It's so bonkersly flavoursome. Oh, it's making my nose curl up. It's, 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 it's like a, 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 an unnatural lemon. An unnatural, sharp, sour lemon. Maybe if you cut up a lemon with its peel and left it on the sideboard for about four days until it started to ferment, that's probably what the smell of a fermenting lemon on the sideboard after four days would smell like. Salty. Let's dive in. Cheers. Oh. <laughs> love it. Absolutely love it. Mm. it. It's bonkersly sour. It's like them them funny space. Remember the lemon them sweets you used to get the little lemon space saucer things that you. They, used to, they were like funny paper things with sherbet in. You used to put them in your mouth and they used to kind of fizz like crazy on your palate. That's exactly what this beer is doing. This is, this is an adult version of a, of a flying saucer paper sweet. It's brilliant. So flavour-wise... Um, it's salty, as a line of I should be. Lots of lemon. Uh, yeah, it's been dry hopped, but I, I can tell it's slightly bitter. I'm not going to stand here and pretend that I know what hops in the beer, because if you do, you'd be an absolute genius without reading the side of the bottle. It's just so... You know it's hoppy. You know it's hoppy, but... but Trying to detect that hop with all that kind of sourness going on is quite frankly quite impossible. The genius of a Berliner Weiss and this particular beer, because I am holding it in my hand and it is absolute genius, is that it's just 4% ABV. You get in like the most amazing flavour and drinkability because you don't need to add 
lots of malt. You don't need to ferment it up to 6% ABV. It's, it's, it's a very drinkable, refreshing beer. And that carbonation on the tongue is just massively fantastic. Pardon me. And another secret to a Berliner of ice is that when all of that action calms down and goes away, you're left with a lovely, subtle, wheaty, bready flavour that just lingers around and can't speak now just lingers around and hangs around and just stays with you until you go back for more of this super crazy crazy lemony sharp sour salty taste it's quite brilliant it's quite a remarkable beer um, again I will be honest um, I think I tried my first Berliner Weiss only probably two years ago in uh, the Colonel Brewery and I was like, Christ, what's this? It took me it took me a while to get used to the style and, and what to expect from the style. But when you get it right, as, as this beer is, it's right. It's a great satisfaction to drink. And it just puts a smile on your face. So... You can pick this beer up from beersofeurope.co.uk. Beers of Europe are the largest online beer store in the UK with lots and lots of beer from lots and lots of different places around the world, including the good old blighty, the good old UK. Uh, so check out beersofeurope.co.uk for Calypso Dry Hop Bolina Ice. It's staggeringly good. Uh, rating for this beer. You probably know where I'm going with this. It's a Stone the Crows 10 out of 10. It's a 10 out of 10 from Real Old Craft Beer. Put your comments in the comments box. Please subscribe to our daily beer reviews and cheers.